Today we're here to talk about the FPL camera by Sigma and its new line of lenses, the i-series, and I'm here to tell you my first look and impressions on it. My initial thought on this camera is that it is great right out of the box, very compact, but it can also grow through its modular uh, add-ons to something much bigger. I'm normally a wedding photographer and when I'm not shooting weddings, I'm out with my children, which is what I had the opportunity to shoot with this camera. I had my children go out to the bike park and shoot some active stuff. I had no issues with the camera finding focus fast and still moving across as I was taking multiple pictures of them zooming in front of my camera, which I think is an advantage of having a camera. If you're going to call this a camera for content creators, you need a camera that can focus fast and keep focus and this camera seemed to deliver that. I was able to shoot on burst mode and take multiple shots as they were going across the camera and with a flick of a switch I was able to switch from from photos to cinema and then grab some amazing memories of them riding bike at the park with me. The fact that this camera is so small, it means that you can just put it in your back pocket and take it with you when you are having fun with your family and it has the power of a much bigger camera. Having 61 megapixels in such a small body is pretty impressive and from what I understand it went from 24 to 61 megapixels which is a significant jump from, from one generation to another one and having such a large number of megapixels allows you to crop in if you wanted to um, zoom in into a particular area of your photo or if you like it just way it was taken you can blow it up to a uh, very large size prints. One small issue that I encountered while shooting with my kids is that I found it fishing for focus as it was going from a low contrast situation to a high contrast situation and I know that it's a common problem amongst most camera manufacturers and this is not the final version of this camera. I'm sure it will be worked out by the time its final version comes out. I was fortunate enough to be able to shoot this camera with the i-series lenses which is pretty impressive to have such a small lens be so powerful and, and have such a low aperture of 2.8 in this case and this one 2.0 for the for the 35 millimeter lens and the build on them is amazing which you know when paired up with this camera gives you very sharp images. I really enjoyed the large LCD in the back of the camera which compared to other cameras at a similar price point, this camera has a lot to offer. This camera is designed for you to build it out to wherever you want to do with it. And one of the options that it has is that you can record directly to an SSD hard drive, which is great when you're shooting a long interview or, or something longer and you're shooting at its highest megapixels or its highest resolution. I know this is a work in progress and it's not its final version yet. However, one thing that I would like to see in future releases of this camera is perhaps an articulated screen so you have the advantage of looking at different angles as you are being more creative. However, I do see that it has a heat vent here all around the LCD, which is probably why this LCD is not articulated and that is a problem with some of the other cameras when shooting at 120 frames per second, 4K or 8K, heat becomes an issue. So I'm sure this camera thought about that. This camera seems to be a good fit for the content creator who likes to do both cinema and photography, but also have the ability to grow the body into a much bigger configuration for bigger projects. You can find out more about me and my work at alanmartinez.com. Also, YouTube would be Alan Martinez, and on social media would be Alan Martinez Studio.